this is a good visual in terms of the off-season pre-season for football. It is a long campaign uh, and we've got to take it one step at a time. Uh, we don't want to get ahead of ourselves and, and only focus on quick wins. We want to make sure you time your run. Uh, and you'll hear that a lot with the successful teams recently like Richmond um, over their dynasty where they, they didn't focus on you know, being the best football team April, but they focus on being the best team in September. And that comes down to the individuals as well. So we, it's not all about um, being in peak fitness uh, at this time of year. We just want to be building your fundamentals, focus on your, on the basics and starting to get back on the, on the preparation form. Hopefully you've had a good long rest and your motivation is pretty high this time of year. Um, and that can be a bit of a danger pill for an athlete because they're um, super motivated to do everything they can. Uh, and they want to just work, 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 work. But you drive yourself in the ground and come January, February, when training loads are really high with your footy, you're, you're getting close to playing practice matches. Um, you've been working so hard for the few months that your body uh, hasn't had proper rest and hasn't been able to rejuvenate very well. So each phase of the year is really, really important. Uh, and typically about four weeks after your last game is when you want to be off legs and just let your, your knees, your feet um, recover, the joints. Okay, over to this week. So like I mentioned, it's that time of year where we just want to see where you're at with your 2K. It's not a performance 2K time trial, but it's just to see where you're at so we can give you some targets that are specific to you in the, in the program. Um, so when we're running our 30-second efforts, we can, give you, we can look at your 2K time trial, break it down and see what, um, what distance you should get in those 30-second efforts, 60 seconds, three minutes, and those sort of things. So it allows us to have smart training when we're not just get, doing guesswork. Um, so this 2K time trial is really, really important that you push yourself to your max, you get your best time. Um, so then we can look at that data and, and give you an appropriate program for where you, how fit you are, as well as set some, some goals. Um, like we want to try and get at least 5% uh, better over this preseason with your 2K time trial. So what you'll see in your, in your team builder every Sunday, um, We'll, we'll post the, the program with your specific targets in them so that what they'll look like, this is an example for someone with their aerobic tempo running. So they're running for 60 seconds. They've got six efforts and they're going to rest uh, 90 seconds between each effort. We want to uh, aim for 300 metres for this runner in the 60 seconds. Okay, so aerobic tempo is something that should feel pretty comfortable. It's all about consistency. So for 60 seconds on, 90 seconds off, they should be able to hit 300 metres with, um, with, with ease. It's not like it's a struggle. There's no way they'll fail a rep. They'll be able to hit that, that score every time. 